NFL fans and NASCAR, everyone is talking about this new driver, John Girard. Let's find out a little bit more about him from our reporter, Davey Wessling. Talented, eccentric, dominating. These are the words that define Jean Girard. Before each race, Jean Girard spends time with his world-class horses, who are also gay. Jean's days are filled with sun-drenched walks with his beloved husband, Gregory. Though Gregory is no stay-at-home spouse, he's a world-class trainer of German shepherds. Only time will tell if Jean's foray into NASCAR will end up in victory lane. can drive and check out his crew chief over there won the nobel prize for physics back in 93. ladies and gentlemen that is a new track record as it stands now jean gerard is sitting on the pole which is of course a statement of fact and in no way a comment on the driver's sexual orientation put a smile on your face ricky that's the future of dennett racing right there that make you happy oh yeah i'm just thrilled mr dennett i love seeing some french guy break my track record while i got my arm wrapped up like a friggin gordita hello uh, ricky bobby what happened last week was uh, very regrettable and unfortunate. And as a gesture, I would like to um, sign your cast, please. Oh, hell. You know what? Get my car off the trailer, guys. Baby, that's my baby. Hold on, Ricky, 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 Ricky. What are you talking about? Look, I want to drive, OK? My arm's fine. So look, get the car off the trailer. Don't, don't look at me. Get it off the trailer. No. Oh, come on, now, Ricky, even with a healthy arm, you don't have a chance against Jean Girard. All right, fellas, you heard the man. Get the car off. Let's go. Go get it off. You guys heard it. What's going on? Soon you will know what it is like to be defeated by the hands of somebody who is truly better than you. As William Blake wrote, the cut worm forgives the plow. Now, let me just quote the late, great Colonel Sanders, who said, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. What's that got to do with this? I got a message for all of them, right? Shake and bake. What does that do? Does that blow your mind? That <laughs> just happened. What is that, a catchphrase or is that uh, epilepsy? Shake and bake. Yeah. What? Shake and bake. Listen, you better be careful because tomorrow you're going to get beaten. Beaten real bad, cowboy. Really? Yes. Well, I want to know. That's news, that's news what? to me. Tomorrow you're Did going you to be a cowboy. I'm going to rip you, you in the face. This is going to be a cross I, I, I play for keeps. I, I play for keeps. Us. I give you one option, Monsieur Bobby. As a sign of humility, if you kiss me on the lips now, I will return to Paris and you will never see me again in NASCAR. The my... answer is never. I Do you hear me? Never, ever. Well, yes or no? That's sick. Let me tell you. Hold on. Shake your back. Yeah. <laughs> What does that, that mean? Awesome. Makes no sense, so the shake and bake, it's nonsense. Hey, baby, because you're so smooth. Thanks, darling. Hell, you could say that 10,000 times and I it know. still wouldn't be enough. It fires me up, man. I love it. Say it one more time. Shake and bake! <laughs> does that feel good? Yeah, it rhymes. Woo. They're both verbs. Awesome. 